Studies have shown on, on silverfish and on shrimp specifically that Corexit is exponentially more dangerous than other dispersants that are avail available out there. We are using an EPA approved product. We are using a product that has low toxicity. An Exxon report some years ago showed that uh, the core exit is actually four times more toxic than the crude oil itself. Would you say that again? We are using an EPA approved product. BP continues to spray a product called Corexit in the Gulf of Mexico despite demands from federal regulators. You just listen to who makes the final decision and in this case BP made the final decision and told the EPA to stuff it. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. Again, we're calling the Coast Guard. They get that BP has control of the Coast Guard. A boat of BP contractors with two Coast Guard officers on board told us to turn around under threat of arrest. This, this BP is not ours. They get that BP has control of the Coast Guard. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. We saw this with Exxon Valdez. We had 6,722 cases of upper respiratory illnesses. I'm still dealing with sick people 21 years later. 100% disabled. A lot of them have died. The average lifespan of a person who did cleanup on the uh, Exxon Valdez is 51 years old. Almost all those people who did work on the Exxon Valdez are now dead. You just listen to who makes the final decision. And in this case, BP made the final decision and told the EPA to stuff it. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. The feds have demanded that BP switch to another chemical. We are using an EPA approved product. In the last month, the company has used, brace yourself, more than 700,000 gallons of this chemical, which is toxic to human beings. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. I mean, I've been up coughing, coughing up, coughing up stuff. You, you, your lungs fill up. Burr says when he went to the doctor after feeling ill on Sunday, the doctor told him his lungs looked like the victims of a three-pack-a-day smoker. And Burr says he has never smoked. We are using a product that has low toxicity. An Exxon report some years ago showed that uh, the core exit is actually four times more toxic than the crude oil itself. Would you say that again? We are not seeing huge elevations in... Uh, toxins in the air or in the water. A normal level ranges from 5 to 10 parts per billion. The reading was nearly 40 times that at nearly 1,200 parts per billion. We are not seeing huge elevations in uh, toxins in the air or in the water. And the day after that, it dropped down to 46 before rising the next day to more than 1,000. The people who work at BP who are coming to see her were only allowed to get Band-Aids and aspirin from her and they were told that they only could go to the to the BP doctors if they wanted to get treated. Almost all those people who did work on the Exxon Valdez are now dead. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. When you see all the boom deployed around all the little islands and everywhere, you, you, you assume that it's doing some good, right? Why would they throw it out there other than to, to give you the appearance that it's doing good? I mean, I, don't, I, I want to grab them and bring them over there, but I don't know if I should be, you know? Yeah, don't worry. The oil that the boom doesn't absorb, the birds will. Everything's fine, BP. They got it. Mother Nature's got this one. We are using a product that has low toxicity. The holes of their boats, whether it's from the oil or from the Corexit, are being eaten through. We are using an EPA-approved product. BP continues to spray a product called Corexit in the Gulf of Mexico despite demands from federal regulators. We are using a product that has low toxicity. An Exxon report some years ago showed that uh, the core exit is actually four times more toxic than the crude oil itself. Would you say that again? But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. You just listen to who makes the final decision. And in this case, BP made the final decision and told the EPA to stuff it.